Hello everyone and welcome back to the Lair of the Overmind. Now I know what some of you might be thinking already. Hey, this isn't Reaper of Souls. You can have an auction house in there. Well, you guys would be correct. And uh, I'm, instead of doing a Reaper of Souls video for this video, I'm going to do my 100 subscriber appreciation video. I just got 100 subscribers as of yesterday, I believe. And uh, I'm really thankful for you guys, to you guys for uh, hanging out with me, checking out some Reaper of Souls content and whatnot, and uh, giving me all the comments you've been giving me. You guys have been pretty awesome as some viewers. So I thought I would make a video to help you guys make some gold in vanilla to help pr prepare for Reaper of Souls. And also, I will be doing a gold giveaway, which I will s talk a little bit more about at the end of the video. Without further ado, let me just go ahead and, and jump into how it is that I have made all of my gold. Before I uh, was doing Reaper of Souls videos, I had been doing gold farming here in the auction house for a while. I got up to about seven, eight hundred million gold, and then just blew all of that gold on the equipment you see right here, which I obviously have replaced in the Reaper of Souls beta. An Echoing Fury, a really good rare weapon with uh, crit damage and lifesteal on it. Good boots, all kinds of good stuff in here. Anyway, that's not what the video is about. This video is about making money for you guys. So, how have I made all of my gold? Well, uh, some people like to farm the game for gold. However, this can be very, very slow, tedious, and take a lot of time. So, in order to use minimal effort and maximum gain, I'm going to show you guys the method I've been using. Uh, as you might see, I have a lot of in his favor here in my... Uh, in my auction log. Basically what you want to do is you want to pick a legendary item that you can buy for really 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 cheap and then sell it for a ton of profit. And I'll go ahead and give you guys an example of this. Let's see here. I still have a whole bunch of Inna's uh, favor that I haven't sold. The reason I chose Inna's favor as opposed to another uh, legendary to farm was because they take up half the amount of space in your inventory, belts, rings, and amulets, so in my opinion it would be best to stick with those legendaries. Other ones could work if you find ones that uh, you can kind of resell for a lot of money, but for me I found Inna's Favors works pretty well. Witching Hours are also a decent attempt. So what I do is I will go ahead and search for Inna's Favor search for buyout and you as we can see right now as for buyout goes the lowest buyout is 130k and that's regardless of whatever stats are on it so I can assume right now okay if things are worth 130k go to time left if I can bid all these ones I have two minutes left bid for 6,000, 3,000, 2,000 if you win those and then sell them you obviously make an incredible amount of money so that's this uh, method at its most basic. Uh, another good thing to do is, let's see here, you, if you want to search for uh, specific traits, uh, some items, if they have one specific trait on it, they are worth a lot of money. So if we search for lowest buyout, get back to the 130k, and let's put, say, Magic Find on it. Okay, so now we know that Magic Find and his favors are worth a minimum of about a million gold. Now, before you really delve into the whole reselling on Auction House thing, you want to watch the prices for at least a day or two to make sure that they're not just outlandishly high or something like that. That does happen every once in a while. So take a good 48 hours just, you know, making sure to know uh, what the buy, what the lowest buyout for certain items and items with stats on them are before you decide to invest. So if I were to check this tomorrow and say it was at uh, 800k or a little bit lower than that, I would know that that's about what I could expect. So I would once again, like I just said, search through time left. You have a whole bunch here for really cheap that end really soon. What you want to do, uh, you want to have a little bit of gold to start off doing this um, this method but you don't need all that much maybe 200k to 500k to just get the whole thing uh, rolling and then um, of course you want to buy it for whatever super small buyout you can avoid the big buyouts because that's taking a huge risk and you're probably not going to be getting any money back however you know like I had said if the lowest buyout is about a million 
and you can buy it for three thousand to you know five hundred thousand you're well off and also the more gold you have the higher buyout you can put closer to what they're worth of course picking up more stuff and making more money uh... what i've done is i've just gone through uh... three different times a day for about five minutes just searching uh... lowest buyout and then uh... shortest bid time and then what i'll do is i'll just put i'll bid on a whole bunch of items so like i'd probably you know put a bid on this we'll say uh... fifty thousand one two three go ahead and copy that so i can quickly paste it into another window and that bid is accepted now if this ends and i get that for fifty k what is that eighteen percent that's a really high roll on magic find as it is so i can sell this for at least a million gold if not more than that and if i'm only paying fifty k for it hey that's pretty awesome for me so what i'll do is i'll just go ahead in the first couple of pages just go ahead and slap down a basic bid I could afford way more than 50k assuming that these things are worth up to a million do uh, up to a million gold so I'm just doing this right now to show you a little bit of an example just kinda run down the line put a super small bid on everything that you possibly can and then of course when several hours pass you come back you will have picked up several items um, if a lot of people are doing the same thing that you're doing, you might not pick up very much, but if you bid on a whole bunch of them, you almost undoubtedly will get some of them. In any case, that is my method for making gold. Like I said, you can use other uh, legendaries than the in his favor. I would recommend sticking to belts, rings, and amulets, because if you find something really really good that you can milk for a lot of money you can super stock up in your stash uh... full of those items you can you know have uh... mules character mules that you can stock full of those items and that's how i got to my eight hundred million and bought all my stuff that being said however i would not do what i did and buy a ton of upgrades with the money i would save it for uh re-enchanting your items with the mystic for the expansion because I played the beta for what like I think it was three maybe four days and then after that point I'd almost replaced all of my gear that I'd worked so hard to uh, purchase on the auction house so sell whatever you can uh, you're gonna wanna sell all of your gems because you have marquee gems that drop uh, from pretty much anything when you get up to level 60 you can also get imperial gems and stuff like that so get rid of all your gems um, you might be able to go ahead and get rid of your crafting material too depending on what you use your crafting material for a lot of the uh, new craft mats in uh, the expansion uh, drop normally instead of having to salvage items and stuff so that's pretty cool um, sell all of your paints those are actually going for several thousand gold right now and uh, yeah, just stock up on a whole bunch of legendaries, get them resold, and make a bunch of gold. All right, and now for information regarding the giveaway. As you can see right now, I have 44 million gold, almost 45 million. I'm going to try to get it up to 50 million for the giveaway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away 10 million gold to five lucky subscribers. So all you have to do in order to be eligible for this uh, gold bonus is to subscribe to my channel and uh, make a comment below this video stating what your favorite build is. Anything that you like about Diablo 3, maybe what you're looking forward to in Reaper of Souls, pretty much anything. Just mention that you would like to participate in the giveaway and you will have a chance at getting the gold. I'm not quite sure how long the giveaway will run for. It might be until the beta closes down I'm not quite sure yet that might give me a better chance to earn more gold to give away we'll just have to see what happens in any case thank you guys for watching this video uh, this is the Lair of the Overmind I am the Overmind for any of you that don't know yet <laughs> uh, yeah I look forward to giving away a bunch of gold to you guys and helping you guys prepare for the expansion in any case go ahead and give this video a like if you found it uh, instructive Give me any comments if you have any suggestions for me on how to improve, maybe ideas on how else you can earn some money. That would be great. Uh, subscribe to me if you'd like to look forward to more videos in the future and if you would like that chance at 10 million gold. And, of course, share this with your friends so we can get the word out. All right, thanks again, guys, for watching, and I will see you next time for more Reaper of Souls content.